In this section, we're here to talk about how to schedule an interactive IBM I process through Robot Replay. Remember, Robot Replay allows you to automate 5250 screens through batch, and we do that by integrating it with Robot Schedule. Robot Replay is a very proven technology. It's been around for a couple of decades now, helping customers who had interactive business applications that they couldn't rewrite to run in batch. So with Robot Schedule and Robot Replay working together, we can not only run those interactive green screen applications, we can then control any job that's being submitted out of them and run them through the very popular job scheduling tool called Robot Schedule. So again, Robot Replay allows us to learn 5250 interactive processes even modify the screen input parameters so that you can have a process that you can dynamically fill in your next invoice, the next cash draft number, uh, business dates, all on the fly through the product so you can run IBM I as unattended as possible. The important part of Robot Schedule is it keeps a pulse on all the jobs that are submitted even from the interactive process, and it keeps it as one dependent event so that now I can run that interactive process, I can have it spawn 10 batch processes, and that becomes one dependent event for that night processing, and then we can run the next step, whatever that may be. Again, Robot Replay does require Robot Schedule. Find Robot Replay, you type in RBO, you take Option 11 on the Robot main menu with all the other robot products and option one again today remember we're here to learn how to schedule a replay object that we've learned from our last session we created a replay object called end of month and now to schedule it all we're really going to do is take option seven you are going to do that from the green screen um, obviously robot schedule has a gui with it but um, uh, robot replay because it's learning green screen type applications we're going to just use green screen on the main option for the robot schedule job now we're actually in robot schedule for those who know robot schedule the replay name becomes the name of the robot job although it doesn't have to stay that way um, and we also assign it to a application called replay now the job is not scheduled. We certainly could get a, give it a schedule since it's uh, Tuesday. I can come down here and say I want to run this every Tuesday. And we'll walk us through the robot schedule job itself. What we'll see here is the command that we're running. This is going to execute the end of month replay object from batch. So I actually sign onto the system and run the screens. And we'll show you that in the next process. Any advanced schedule if we want, we want to make this a dependent job, we can do the reactivity. If we want to run this process every hour or every 10 minutes, we can use every day number. We can run the process at any point in time. This is just controlling the output from the replay object. And then finally, the job control panel, which is really uh, the next most important thing here. Um, we have to pick the job description, the message queue, and a job queue. I always like to run my replay um, objects or they have to run through a multi-threaded job queue. So I'm going to just, for example, use the robot sleeper job queue, do that, make sure it's there. And then I also run it under my user profile that I learned it under, and I'm going to use Tom H. Now with that, that's pretty much all we have to do. So again, the important part of here is what job queue has to be multi-threaded job queue, the user profile that learned the replay object. Makes it a lot simpler from an authority perspective. And there we go, we got our robot replay object. And so I continue on, I can go into robot schedule. I might as well just continue to use the green screen because that's what I'm in. And if I type in end, uh, there's my end of job. I just created um, and I have it just scheduled on Tuesday. But now if I pick a time uh, on that, um, I can come in here and choose a time of 10, 05. If I hit enter quick enough here, notice our replay job is starting to run already. And I'm going to come back here shortly. We'll take a look at the results of that.